Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. Big news today, Llama 3 is out and I couldn't wait to show it to you. So in this quick video, I'm going to walk you through the deployment of Llama 3 8 billion on AWS. And as usual, I'm going to show you how to do this with Amazon SageMaker. You don't even have to write the code. And just for extra oomph, uh, I will add the latest version of our text generation inference server, TGI 2.0. And I'll also show you how to do streaming inference. Okay, let's get started. And as usual, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please consider joining my channel and enabling notifications. Okay, Llama 3, here we go. As usual, we start from the Hugging Face Hub and uh, just go to the Meta Llama uh, 3 8B page. Here I'm using the uh, instruction fine-tuning version. On the first visit, you will have to enter uh, your personal details to get access to the model. It is a gated model. Uh, you'll get access immediately, so no problem there. And then once you've done that, you can go to deploy, SageMaker, and you'll see the code snippet to deploy there. Okay, so just copy this, right, and then move to a little bit. Here I'm using SageMaker Studio. I just pasted the code snippet. The only thing you need to change is add your Hugging Face token um, so that you can access the, the gated model. Uh, here's mine, but I will recycle it after the, the demo, of course. And um, because at the time of recording, the SageMaker SDK hasn't been updated for TGI 2.0, I can't use that uh, LLM image URI API, but instead I will just add the full name of the container. And, uh, and you can find those names in the deep learning images repository by AWS on GitHub. And it has the full list of uh, SageMaker containers, including, of course, the Hugging Face containers, right? And here you can see we use TGI 2.0. Hopefully by the time you watch this, uh, you'll be able to say version 2.0 and ignore that. Okay, um, so build the model object called deploy. I'm using a small GPU instance here, G5-2XL. That's the one I usually use for those uh, 7B models. So hopefully it still works for 8 billion. And it, in fact, it does. After a few minutes, I've got my endpoint, and now I can start predicting. So uh, just grab the tokenizer, build uh, system prompt, and a user question with the OpenAI format. I don't need to worry about the Llama 3 format. That's going to be taken care of automatically with the chat template. And the only thing to worry about is uh, the end of uh, sequence tokens. Uh, but fortunately, the model page gives you the, the right information here. So just specify those tokens and uh, feed them to the generation arguments. Let's use synchronous inference first, where we generate the full uh, answer and print it out in one go. And then, of course, we'll see streaming inference. Okay, so we did 256 tokens in under nine seconds. So it's about uh, 30, 35 tokens per second, roughly. We're not trying to optimize your but feels feels about right and then print out the answer, right? So if we want to do streaming inference, uh, just like I showed you with, I think, the Zephyr model in the previous video, uh, we can reuse this super nice code snippet from uh, this nice AWS blog post that shows you how to stream tokens coming from, uh, from the endpoint, right? So I literally uh, stole that code from the blog post, thank you. And the only thing we really need to do is reconfigure the endpoint for streaming. Okay, so streaming, decentralization, and enabling streaming. So let's do this. And then we can invoke the endpoint. And it is streaming, right? The speed is quite good. So there you go. Um, as usual, you know, our collaboration with AWS 
makes it very simple to try out those new models. You literally go to the model page, copy paste that code snippet, and uh, and that's it. You're done, right? And you can do streaming, and uh, with uh, TGI2, you get uh, a very, very decent performance, even on a small um, cost-effective GPU instance, right? So I guess in the next video, I'll show you how to do this on Inferentia 2, but it's not going to be very different. All right, well, that's it. Welcome Llama 3 to the family and uh, enjoy testing. That's it for me. Until next time, keep rocking.